Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to determine the uh, volume and buoyancy of an object. Well, to be honest with you, uh, they're both going to be varying, varying in terms of scenario because you have different objects, and therefore you're going to have different volumes and uh, different uh, buoyancy. Now, now, volume of an object is the amount of space taken up by an object, and so when you have things like a cube or a sphere or a, some, or any other kind of uh, objects, the volume will actually vary, uh, vary, literally. So that will really depend. So there's no actually not no set universal formula for volume. Now, buoyancy is also going to vary because buoyancy is actually a force. It's a force exerted by a liquid, a gas, or some other fluid that opposes an object's weight. Now, some might kind of roughly put it, it's the weight of displaced uh, fluids. But the thing is, depending on the force, the buoyancy will also vary. So again, there's no fixed formula for buoyancy, just as there's no fixed uh, formula for volume. So it really depends on what the object is, and then once you figure that out, as well as the kind of force that's involved, then you can determine its buoyancy. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief explanation on how to determine volume and buoyancy of an object.